Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim. On the bit of the road, people should just stop basically going along. Because there's been one ambush on a wagon that destroyed that wagon, then there's been another wagon that was ambushed and destroyed right flipping here as well. So really, just, just stop using this road. Guys, seriously, just stop using this one road. It's clearly just not a good flipping road. Also, there's clearly something on the road over there coming this way. Ooh, hello. Whatever you are, you look angry and you're running. What exactly are you? You all look angry. You're- Ah! It's the Dawn Guard! Right, okay. Well, in that case, I think we know we need to- That wasn't what I was planning to do, but whatever. Right, Vampire Lord time. And Serana, are you planning to turn into an awesome Vampire Lord too? Because I would recommend it. Seriously, right. Right between the two of them. Should be able to get both of them down. Oh, yeah. One of them's dead already. And the other one can be... No. Have I got grip, by the way? Grip. And then there we go. Got one. And boom. And now just send him flying. And there we go. Get him, boy. Get him while he's on the ground. Good boy. Right. This Dawn Guard is significantly tougher. Someone's attacking me. Oh, no. That's Serana helping out over there. Don't you shoot my demon puppy. He may be, like, blating the most... Oh, hang on. I think you're not being affected by that. Yeah. Hang on. If I cast that right there... No, no, it was affecting him. Sorry, my mistake. I've killed the demon puppy. I'll go and pick up another one. Honestly, I was not that emotionally attached to him. Still, I'm now even more glad I sent Vigilance away. Right. Excuse me. You just come over here. Serana, do you want to just kill him for a bit? I think the moment he gets a hit, he gets sent out. Or possibly a round of magic there. Just need a little bit more magic. Running a bit low on the old magic. Serana, do you want to finish this off? Because <laughs> that grip I need to stop using. It's way, way, way too high on the old magic cost. Boom, I'll have the rest of that. Job flipping done, nice. Right, so just me and you now, Serana. The puppy's dead, sorry about that. Still, now we're in vamp- Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, did you bring us a friend? Is that the guy from the ambush? Oh, do you recognise- Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I've got an idea. I've got a really good idea, actually. Hang on, raise the dead, raise the dead, raise the dead, raise the dead, raise the dead. And you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we got them back together. This is the couple that basically wanted to travel together. And there was a really sweet note about how I'll stick by my husband no matter what. Oh. It didn't last very long, to be honest. I'm so Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to put her out of her, her misery quickly. Just, okay, not that quickly. Any, any minute now. And then, sorry, sorry. You don't walk in the way while I'm magicking. And then soon, any time. Okay, for whatever reason, you're really refusing to just, just get her out the way and then just get her in the room. There we go. That'll probably kill her eventually. Right, job done. On we go. And now we know that the Red Guard are just going to be sporadically hunting me as well. So that's a thing worth, like, you know, remembering. And also stay away from, stay away from literally anyone right now. Because just about everyone now will probably just decide I'm a threat and go for me. So... Stay away from, like, you know, people on horseback <laughs> and whatever. They won't want to be friends. This seems about right. There's blood dots around everywhere. Yes, here we go. Lovely. So, four bears holdouts. You got anything to say about this? Nope. Nothing by the sounds of it. Right, in we go. Let's go murder everything. You distract, I murder. Ah, wait. Yes, that's why my magic ran low. It's because I was outside in bright sunlight and I'm a vampire. Sorry. I forget, like, certain things about being a vampire on occasion. Right. Now, also, don't forget to use my gargoyle. It's not great, but it'll flipping do it to push. And as for the rest of it... Ooh, hello. Well, this is cool. Right. What's all of this? Hello, people. We've got ourselves a big old wibbly thing. And then a whole bunch of stuff. Right, hang on. I assume I'm going to need some vampire sight here, just so I can see exactly what's going on. There we go. Right. Round here... Let's go find ourselves some... You're a puppy of some description. I'm going to feel really bad about this, but... Sorry, I suspect you're Dawn Guard puppies, so I just need to absorb your souls nice and quickly. Right. You go over in that direction. There's... Oh, no. And that's Gargoyles, suggesting this is or was a vampire spot. Potentially until Dawn Guard came in and took it over? Possibly? I'm not sure. Right, who's there? And it's... No, that's just a random thing. Then there's a... Oh, hello! There's a... Oh, it is Dawn God. I was right. Okay, hang on. Oh, that's an armored troll. I heard about these guys. Right. Just take you out. 
Now, one of you, I just need a gargoyle up front to just distract for a minute while I just try and get out of... Okay, now I just need to get out of the river. Right, gargoyle, just keep them busy for one moment and then bloody... Hell, Serana, I don't need you at the back. I need you tanking at the front. And then, ouch, now I'm being hit with a hammer. And there's a bloody current and it's quite strong. We good? Okay, now we're fine. Right, you... I'm gonna need grip, aren't I? Yeah. All right, hang on. No. You, go the hell away. All right, now, go and boom. Right, that buys some time there. You get in the flipping river. Serana, what are you doing right now? You Ah, you're bringing back one of the dogs. Okay, I can't deny I like the fact you brought back one of the dogs. The dogs are awesome. Right, let's just get Vampire's sight going on again now. One of you guys is down there in the river. The dog's gone to go and get him. He's just... I don't think he can get out. So I'm just going to quickly just nag him a few times. Oh yeah, he's pretty bloody tough. What else have we got over here? We've got... Ah, we've got the troll. Can I take care of the, the troll? I, I can take care of the troll! Screw you! Right, he goes in the river, which will help take care of him. And then we've got you and you and... Okay, you seem pretty on the tough side, actually. So my plan is actually, you also just go in the... No, excuse me. Excuse me. You also just go in the river. That will buy me some time. Right, okay. Some of the Dawn Guard pretty bloody tanky. But if we get him in the river, that should do nice work. They don't seem to be able to get back out because I struggled to get out. Yep, yeah, there's a flipping armored troll over there. And there's one guy who's just taking on a random puppy. We can take out this guy at least. But these guys are... Oh yeah. They've got a lot of flipping health right now. Still, this is blatantly the best way to take care of them. Just use grip to get them in the river. And then that's it. They're pretty much damn screwed. They've also got some health regen going on. That guy blatantly had some uh, health regen. Then the armored troll stuck down there. Actually, you know what? I think they can't do anything to me at this point. Probably. I just want to back over here. Now I probably just want to completely ignore these guys. Screw the armoured... Wait, hang on. What was that? Who was that? Who just fired at me? Who was it? Because someone still totally has a... Okay, well, someone glistened. Oh, there you are. Sorry. I didn't see you over there. You... Come come back. Come the flip back. There we go. You seem less tough than the others. If I don't forget, I've got vampire powers. Like, for example, bats. There we go. Now I'm over here. So you can also get in the river. Oh, oh, I think I might have missed the river. No, I missed the river. Sorry, my mistake. Still, now she's closer to Serana. So hopefully Serana will, like, you know, get out a thing or whatever. Now I can... Oi, stop shooting me with a crossbow, you. Actually, you know what? It's fine. I think I can pretty much just tank whatever they're throwing at me because of all the extra health backup I get off uh, my actual vampire abilities. In fact, you're almost dead now. And down you go. Beautiful. And that was extra life force. Yeah, there's an armored troll down there, but I don't really care about him. Not really much he can do, because he can, oh yeah, he can tank that for days. That's ridiculous. So screw that guy, we'll just leave him in the water so he can't get back out now. Actually, wait, hang on. She's just, oh, no, something's completely destroying the armored troll. Possibly you need to, like, hit him when he's not in the water. Maybe the blow was being deflected by the water or something, because she seems to be able to do something to the armored troll. Hang the flip on here. If I aim right for the top of him, no, I think, like, for whatever reason, my my vampire magic does nothing, but other stuff seems to work a lot better. Well, I'll leave Serana playing with the troll, see if she can come up with a solution there. Go into... No, that was bats. That was bats, and I didn't actually want to do that. Instead, just night vision so I can see what's going on here, and then just loop around the outside. Oh, hello! Sorry! You missed what was happening to your friends, did you? Okay, well, that's fine. I'll just basically eat your soul and whatever. And down he goes. Lifeblood has been absorbed. Now, up top. You think they turned him? I don't know. Maybe. Won't know until we get him out of here. How do we do that? I'm working on it. Now give me some silence so I can think. Right. So the Dawn Guard came in here, or saved this guy, so they thought they were worried he'd been, like, taken over. So probably the best thing I can do now is get these guys... Right away, well, one, I need this. And then two. Hello there, guys. Right, I just want you over there, and you want to go all the way over there, please. And, uh, no, you also need to be picked up, and then you also need to go over there. Right, I need to get these guys down onto the bottom so I can get them into the water as soon as possible. Right, so down over here. Lovely. Get my powers. Oh, you're already dead. Oh, you weren't very good. 
at, at anything, actually. <laughs> right. I was expecting a final boss there, but it would appear I just killed them with full damage. Okay, on some occasions, grip is pretty badass. I'll give it that. Probably at this point I want to revert my form, because I would like to be able to, you know, loot the special bodies, wherever the other bloody one went anyway. Right, back to normal. Hello there, lovely. Now, Dawn... Oh, that wasn't Dawn God. Hang on. Where's the special one then? Because I don't... I don't see a... Uh... Where'd they go? I thought this was... Hang on. One of the... Oh, there's Vanek. Yeah, Vanek did indeed die. Ooh, Dawn Guard Shield. Okay, you do have fancy stuff. I can't deny you've got nice fancy stuff. That is true. That's pretty sweet. Right, well, wherever the other one went, we've got a corpse up here that's Malchus. Okay, so uh, Vampire's got a Moth Priest and then wanted to try and break him. Dawn Guard come in, take that over. Malchus may or may not have been on my side. Ooh, a Waystone Focus. That feels like a quest item to me. And we'll also have some vampire dust off you too. So we got that. And we've also got up here. Ah. Okay, I'm guessing we plug in a waystone focus to like break this guy's brain or something so he'll serve vampires. That strikes me as the sort of thing we might want to do. Yes. Chest here first though. And uh, time is good by 15. Eh, not that great. Depleting. Yeah. Not great stuff here for the most part. I'll take repulsion just for the sake of selling. But that apparently in here is a moth priest. I'm guessing this is, yep, impenetrable barrier. Not much I'm going to be able to do to that. Serana's probably just downstairs still playing with her troll friend. So, no, don't jump up there. Probably just use the... Uh-oh. 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 Right, okay, good. It's fine. It's fine. I figured out I wasn't swimming. Sometimes there are, like, you know, side effects to the whole vampire thing. Right. Plug in this. There we go. Magic barrier... Deactivated. But my master is dead, and his enemies will pay. Oh dear. Apparently, you don't like me very much. Um, hmm. Right, well, let's try being a vampire as a starting point, but apparently I need to kill this guy. I feel like we shouldn't kill this guy. I feel like we, like, you know, need him or whatever. Defeat the enthralled moth priest. Okay, then. Vampire it is. So he's enthralled right now, apparently. Oh, uh oh, he's got fire abilities. Oh, I don't like the fact he's got fire abilities. That's the one thing he's not supposed to have. Okay, hang on. No, I just need to grip him. Just to grip him. Right. Excuse me. No. Don't do that. There we go. Now I just need to move him around a bit. Okay, lovely. Get him back up again. Yep, now we got him again. And now we just send him blasting off in this direction. And now we just move him down till he hits the water. Because the fall damage does good work to them. There we go. And that actually kills him. Nice. Okay, seriously. Grip when there's a cliff is amazing. Hello there. Oh, now I need to use vampire seduction. Okay. Um, do I... Do I have vampire seduction? Need to... Oh, wait. Hang on. No, no, no. I can only do that while I'm in human form. So, ignore everything you're seeing right now. Right, lovely. There we go. Ah, Vampire Seduction is technically a power. Okay. So, now I guess we just kind of go into first person and just Vampire Seduce him. So, hello over there. You seduced in a minute? Hopefully you are. Right, lovely. Now I need to feed on him to turn him into a thrall. Alright, so we'll just quickly feed on you now. There we are. Yum, yum, yum. And... Now we just give him a command. All right, job flipping done. By the divines, it's as if my eyes have been opened. I am blinded by the light of your majesty. I, I must obey you. What would you have of me, master? Um, one, I prefer the term mistress, in case you hadn't noticed the whole female persuasion thing. Um, also, over to Hogwarts, please. Certainly. Where can I find this castle? Okay, uh, King's Cross, platform nine and three quarters, looks like a wall, isn't a wall, massive steam train, can't miss it. I will set out at once then. Alright, bye! Meanwhile, I'm guessing what's going on over there is Serana is just stuck in a never-ending fight against that bloody armoured troll that will never, ever end. Right, they're supposed to be weak to fire, right? So if I was to go for a double-charged firebolt, would that... Do, yeah, that's more like it. They seem weirdly resistant to vampire powers, but fire powers do the job, except I need way more magic for this. Okay, you know what? 
I'm carrying around ridiculous amounts of potions. That's actually bloody you some. Plentiful magicka. Nice. That'll flipping do. And now we just keep him going down like that. And just, just keep going down like that. Any minute now. Yeah, there we go. One dead armored troll. Nice. Right, those things are a little bit on the tanky side to take out with magic. I potentially might need to do something else to take care of them. Still, that was a cool little place, and it's taught me a valuable flipping lesson here, which is, yeah, grip plus full damage can do a ridiculous amount of damage to enemies that seem otherwise ridiculously tanky. Very nice indeed. And while I'm around here, and also in human form, I swear- Oh! Oh, is that more flipping dawn guard? I suspect it flipping is. Right, Frenzy's unfortunately on cooldown, but let's see if I can get some of these other guys set up here. There we go. Some of you are definitely willing to go for each other. So now you're just going to all be... F that was a total flipping mess. Right, you guys, now I'm basically out of Magicka. And I'm going to regenerate it very slowly because of the whole sunlight bloody thing. Okay, that's fine. Plentiful Magicka. And they're definitely going for each other right now. That works for me. And you resisted Frenzy. You, however, most certainly did not. Oh, hang on. That's because you're Serana. Right, okay. One of you's already killed the other. That's lovely. In fact, now one of you's actually been brought back to serve the other. Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to see. Dawnguard Vampire Hunter is going to kill all of their friends. And is also now going to kill one of his other friends for a second flipping time. Nice. In fact, actually, I don't actually need to Frenzy you anymore. Because that is now an ally of mine. Oh, yeah. Like in Vampire Powers, because remember, all my illusion abilities are 25% better at this exact moment in time. Oh yeah, very nice. Lovely. Thank you, my lovely, lovely friend here. Good old Serana's Dawnguard. And there's a writ of dawn going on here. I'm guessing that now, oh yeah, the Breton John is condemned to death for the crime of vampirism. Okay, I'm not convinced that's a, you know, actual crime. Yeah, with the implicit consent of the Jarl. Okay, I'm like Thane of nearly half of the holds in Skyrim, all right? You might want to check with the bloody Jarl how they feel about my murder. Now, as I was saying before those guys showed up, all I really wanted was to check out the nearby buildings. So I noticed there was a big cabin symbol nearby, and I just wanted to check out what it was, because I like seeing things on the map. I just like visiting locations and picking up the odd, unique, interesting thing you find there. That's all I flipping wanted, all right? Here we go. Obscure cabin in the middle of nowhere. What exactly do we have here? Miko Shack. All right. And we've got us. Oh, nope, never mind. That's not a thing. And the uh I heard was totally your thrall. Okay. Magic away. Hello there. Oh, you're dead. You're very dead. I'm guessing this was Miko. Okay. And one journal, too. All right. What's going on here? All these years living in the woods, it looks like Rock Joint will finally be the end of me. I guess that's fine, all my friends are long dead. The only one left is poor Miko. He was always a loyal companion. I know I'll be able to take care of himself. I hope someday I'll see him again. Okay. Suggesting you're not Miko. A loyal companion, maybe I'll see him again. But this was indicated to be Miko's shack, because, like, from the words, I'd say, oh, Miko's like a. A hound or something, but then it wouldn't be Miko's shack, would it? That wouldn't make any sense. Huh. Interesting. A bit of a mystery there. Right, back to the castle. Actually, wait, hang on. No, before I do that, just make sure there's no one around. And once we've verified there's no one flipping around, let's just get Vampire Lord up here. Because I have got myself a new power to spend. I think I picked up a new one by killing a bunch of people there. And yeah, I got a bunch of extra flipping stamina from uh, just becoming a vampire lord, which is nice. I think the ones that kicked in there was one kicked in for plus 50, or rather one kicked in for being a vampire lord, then another one kicked in with power of the grave straight afterwards. Now, this one I like. Blood magic, target is paralyzed. Paralysis is really, really good. The biting I'm not convinced, but actually, blood power 33% less. Grip is expensive. I'm killing a person with a power attack bites. That leads up towards melee attack for another 20 poison and then night cloak surrounded by a cloud of bats. Okay, that's good. Or detect all creatures, that's okay. Mist form's okay. Supernatural reflexes, unquestionably, is really good. Yeah, that's really good, fine. But I think I'd rather have as a priority corpse curse. 
So blood magic target is paralyzed. Nice. Speaking of which, is that now an ability that shows up here? Or is that just a, a backup of my main ability? I think that's just a backup of my main ability. Actually, no, I need to fly first. Where am I flying? Am I flying now? Wait, fl fly. Fly now. Okay, now I'm flying. Ah, now corpse curse shows up. Fine. So that's now just a paralysis spell on my left hand. Got it. So I can have a paralysis spell. Well, that's probably very, very useful. Paralysis is really, really strong. In fact, let's just wait a few hours till it's nice and dark here. There we go. That's probably dark enough. And just up the road here, we've got a nice castle. So let's just see how good this new paralysis spell is, because I like the sound of it. Oh, hello. We've got ourselves something special going on here. We've got a bunch of necromancers surrounded by flipping skeletons. Right. Well, let's just quickly you paralyze you. Oh, okay. Skeleton resisted corpse curse, apparently. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton needs to be taken out. You need to be paralyzed. If you be so... Ah, oh, bloody hell, you got the ward up. Wards do do a good job blocking. And now there's just a flipping thing there. Right, I need to paralyze you. And... Okay, this isn't exactly going well so far. Right, paralyze you. Does that work? Yes, it does work. Okay, now we can take her out nice and easy. You can go down too, thank you very much. Lovely. Yeah, more blood magic. What's going on over there? Right, well, this was interesting. Just ran into a big group of necromancers. Don't see that very often. Hello, who are you guys exactly? It's just a, no, it's just a random skeleton. Okay, this is just a necromancer fort. That's cool. I like necromancers. Actually, I am one, technically. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me very much. One, you're taking on vampires with flipping blood magic. Not a good idea. Not in the slightest. But screw you. Let's just wait for you to drop your shield. There we go. Now you've fallen down. <laughs> right, that should do the job pretty nicely. That Why isn't the blood magic affecting you? Oh, it is. It's just really slow. Just really bloody slow, in fact. Okay, that's not doing much. But then ice magic's not going to do anything to me either. So I probably will win eventually. Okay, you, you know what? You're right. Let's go into flipping. Just go into... Okay, go into... Why am I not swinging? Why am I not swinging while I'm on the ground? I feel like I should be attacking right now. But my... Okay, my character just decided they can't be bothered. So you... You just be... No... Stay still. There we go. We've got ourselves one wolf there. Now can I attack with my claws? Oh, now you're happy with the claws. Okay, lovely. Right, let's go in and finish them off with, like, claws and whatever. Or have you already killed? I think Serana's already killed everyone else. That's absolutely fine. This does not feel like a particularly big place, to be honest. Ooh, I think we're close to Morthal. Okay, don't get too close to Morthal. All right, seriously, I don't want Benor's friends to, like, you know, ask what might or might not have happened. Hello over there. You're an apprentice. Good luck with all of... Oh, yeah. Okay, so the claws are working pretty well against you. No, come... Stop running away. Stop... Okay, I'll just eat your friend then. I don't really care one way or the other. Right, just eat you. And then kill you as well. Lovely. More over there. Oh, yeah. You just keep trying to use ice magic against me. Why flipping don't you... Oh, sorry. That's... I think that's... Wait. Are you one of mine... Because you're not being marked as Serana's, so I don't think you're one of mine. I think you were one of mine. Sorry, Serana. Right, okay. Good stuff here. Bunch of necromancers. Good chest. Not sure I can be bothered with that, but it's probably fine. Screw it. Come back to... No, it always defaults to bats, doesn't it? Also, Serana, if you want to go into, like, you know, mega vampire lord mode, I appreciate you not doing it in general, but if you, like, were to do it once I'd already done it, that'd be fine disappointing chest for having an expert lock on it, to be honest, but never mind. Right, well, we may as well go and have a little look, see what we're passing by here. I think we've just walked literally into the bedroom of all these people. Right, novice necromancer. Yeah, for some reason, some people seem to be much better at resisting the blood magic, like the vampire thing. Open the door. Hello, who's in here? There's got to be someone around here somewhere. Hello over there. Sooner or later, there's going to be... I'll have your magic off you, thank you. Do you actually have any life? No, I think because you're like a construct, you don't actually have any life of your own. So that's fine. Round to... Well, someone's attacking me. And now I need to go back into a human to crack open a door. It's an awkward way of doing it, having to turn back into humans through lockpicking. And we've got ourselves... Ooh, an arch necromancer over there. Right, Serana, you lead. I'll back you up with some gargoyles and stuff. 
Right. One Gargoyle. One Arch Necromancer. Who actually seems to be going down pretty bloody quickly. In fact, actually, he's going down faster than just a random Adept. Which is fascinating. So, we'll just suck all the health out of him. I'll focus on the Adept. Serana, you keep the other one busy for the time being. Actually, the same thing's happening again. I think he's, he's actually weaker to... Oh, yeah. He's way more vulnerable to claws. I think, yeah... Because blood magic is a type of magic, these guys seem to have really good magic resistance. So that's fine. So Apprentice Necromancer, you go over there. No more I yield. Okay, well now we know what we need to do. Just get down on the floor. Oh, sorry, that's that's Serana. That's... Oi, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Now everyone just go for him. Yeah, I think we're just basically at this point wailing on him and it's all going fine. Lovely. And can I eat him? No, I couldn't. No matter. Right. Back into Vampire's site, please. Everyone dead? There might be a few more. Okay, why are you attacking my gargoyle right now? Seriously. Stupid thing to do. Also, who's... I think she just killed my gargoyle. That was all that was happening there. Right, well, there's some more red somewhere around bloody here. Meanwhile, next up in confusing things that vampires can and can't do... Hang on, I can... Okay, I can activate the door bar, but I need to be not looking at it because of the bloody weird third-person camera. That's intriguing. Now, I'm assuming there's going to be more people around here, though. Hello, I think I see you around there. Oh, you're just bloody skeletons. Well, you barely count for anything. So, the claws are definitely not as useless as I thought. Because, yeah, against standard enemies with loads of armor, blood magic's the way to go. Against enemies with loads of magic resistance, like plenty of mages do, potentially, we're better off going for something like the actual claws. So, getting the claws upgraded, definitely worth thinking about regardless. Good, now I know the value of the claws. Now... You're the Arch Necromancer. You got a key. Good, good, good. And also a chest. With very little of use in it, but whatever. And at the top here at the back, we can get up onto the roof. So what do we have up at the top of Fort Snowhawk? Literally nothing. Good. Well, I'm glad we came all this flipping way. Right, well, we did kill some people. Killing some people is, you know, fundamentally good when you're a... Did Serana just fall off the top of Fort Snowhawk? Yeah, I think she did. Then she had to come back up again. Well done, Serana. So at this point, back to Hogwarts. Go and have a chat with him. See what we can learn about Moth Priests and stuff. And yeah, it seems like using blood magic doesn't count as feeding. You've actually got to find a living person and feed on them. Which, yeah, you can do either using Vampire Seduction to just get them on side. Or you can just go up to any sleeping person and do it that way. So that's fine. And before we go and take care of any of these guys, just quickly down to the dungeons to go and have a quick snack. I think we... I think we haven't had you in a while, and your blood was nice, fruity, with kind of a hint of nut. So just have a quick feed there. Lovely. Good old vampire cattle. Just remember to close the door, and on we go. Now, good news, Harkon. I have indeed once again done everything else that no one else could flipping do. Well done. Somehow I knew it would be you who found our moth priest. Indeed, and he's also my thrall as well, so he'll just do what I say. Yes, I see that. I trust his capture was not too difficult a task. Not so much, but by any chance you know who this Molkus guy was? Because, no, apparently I can't even ask him. Dawnguard tried to stop me, they posed no threat. They fought well, but not well enough. Protecting them nearly killed me. Honestly, they did fight well, because they were pretty darn tanky. They are determined and well-armed, but foolish if they think they can defy us. We will deal with them in time. Well, your thrall awaits, and we have given him the Elder Scroll. Command him to read it, and let us hear the words of prophecy together. All right, so there he is over there. Good old thrally thrally thrall. Why don't you just read out this here Elder Scroll? Ah, yes, the Elder Scroll. I admit, I am looking forward to this. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy. 
recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. Okay. I should probably mention to him that I'm literally holding a scroll right now, but I'm guessing that's not going to be an option. It's probably going to be two unrelated scrolls. Right, and I'm guessing you want me to go and find the bloody things, because no one can bloody do anything around here apart from me. That was not as useful as I would have liked. Even so, you did well. Right, any chance you've got a lead on the other two scrolls? My traitor wife stole one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other... The last that I heard, it was lost in the bowels of a Dwemer ruin. It seems our work is not yet done. But I have waited this long, and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. Okay, profit completed. And logically we've got ourselves Chasing Echoes, a brand new quest. And Serana, are you... No, I need to speak to Serana. Presumably you want to travel with me again? Do you have a moment to talk? Yeah, sure. What's going on, Serana? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Okay. And I'm guessing you didn't say something earlier because you didn't want your father to hear? Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. Ah. Okay. So, do you have any faith or trust in him at all, then? It's not a question of trust. He's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. We should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. Okay, and you think you know where it is, though? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. Right. And I'm guessing you did actually know where she was. You were just lying to your father. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Okay, can't waste time on cryptic clues. Maybe your mother didn't trust you either. Maybe she was just being a bit cautious. Let's be nice to Serana. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Okay, um... Vampire lived for a thousand years. If she were to have killed herself to hide in, like, Sovereign Guard, or wherever vampires go, I guess, then... That's the only place her father would never go, because the whole point to this whole endeavour was he wanted to, like, live forever and stuff. So, uh, if she was to hide in Sovereign Guards or somewhere like that, that would potentially work. Although, possibly sealed away like you were makes more sense, yes. I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Hmm. In that case, yeah, being dead doesn't strike me as sensible, because then you wouldn't actually be, uh... That's pretty much as far from awake as you can get. So, the Dawn Guard would be ludicrously unlikely, sure. I doubt my mother would waste her time with those fools. They probably would have tried to kill her, and that has a way of souring relationships. Any other ideas? And only one thing I can say, right here in the castle. Wait, that almost makes sense. I used to help my mother tend a garden in the courtyard here. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Okay, that is pretty bloody risky to the point of stupid, though. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. Okay, and how are we going to do that without your father realising? Trust me, I lived here a very long time and I know every nook and cranny. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. 
Okay, fair enough. Let's actually go and have a look at that right now. That seems cool. Come on, it's just around the side. So we need to go out and then around. Gotcha. Yeah, and if I set the other quest live, the one that's about finding an Elder Scroll at the bottom of a Dwarven Ruin, it does not give me a quest marker. Though admittedly, odds are good. I have been to the bottom of many Dwarven Ruins. I like Dwarven Ruins. They're cool. They provide a lot of soul gems. So, potentially, if I'm really lucky, it's one I just happen to have already been into. After all, I'd already done Redwater Den. So, she said round to the north of the island. So, over in this direction, just hop over here and... Ooh! Hello! Who are you? Right. I'm guessing that's bad. The Dawn Guard have found the castle. Yeah, that would be pretty darn bad. You know what? Screw all of the subtlety and whatever. Let's actually go into our usual standard bits and pieces around here. So, Dramora Lord, please. Thank you. Oh, excuse flipping me. Don't you leap at me like that. And Oh, dear. This is why I shouldn't fight like this. You know what? Actually... This is starting to make sense. Vampire is going to compliment me very nicely. When I'm stuck in, like, you know, a straight-up fight, then I can basically... Oh, good, he's fighting someone down there. Oh, he's not. No, he's flipping not. I thought he was, but he's not. Yes, indeed. When I'm stuck in a straight-up fight, Vampire Lord is pretty bloody good. But when I'm actually stuck in more of a supporting role, then I can just do my normal day-to-day -day business. Nice. Well done, Moira. Thank you very much. Right. Did this person have a note explaining... No note, but... They are at this point scouting out the flipping... Oh, there's another person up there. Hang on. Wait, hang on. This could be hilarious. Just quickly go into vampire mode over there. Get myself a whole bunch of extra health and whatever. Corpse curse. And if we're lucky, he'll fall off. Oh, he fell backwards. Boo. That's a shame. I thought he was going to fall forwards. That would have been hilarious. Right. Up to the top we go. This is all fine regardless. Let's just nip up here and figure out what we can learn from the various Dawn Guard people around. No. Hold still. Hold still. There we go. Now. Now, 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 now. Vampire grip. Can we grip someone while they're paralyzed? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. So good luck with this. Oh, uh, yeah. I think he's going to be pretty screwed as soon as the full damage catches up with them. Oh, is he not? Was he just kept, like, safe by being paralysed or something? Bloody hell. Also, thing to check. In this mode, I've got wings, so presumably no full damage, right? No, still full damage. Wings are purely decorative. And by the time I went down there by foot, yeah, that person has already been well taken care of. Okay. So, back to normal, please. There we go. And now have a little look see here. Dawn Guard Scout again. Still no note. Right. We got ourselves a problem here. The Dawn Guard definitely know where the vampire base is. They're gonna come in strength sooner or later. Most definitely. Yeah, just around this bend. Alright, Serana says it's just round here, but I'm guessing more Dawn Guard investigating yet. What do we have yet? We got something around there. We got bad things, in fact. Right. I'm going to guess that's Dawn Guard times a lot. Around here, please. Where are you bastards? Yep, you know what's going on. Oh, actually, wait, are they... No! That's not Dawn Guard. That's flipping uh, undead monstrosities. Okay. That's nice. Just skeletons and a bit of armor. Right. So there's presumably some tombs or something down here, then. Gotcha. Okay, these skeletons are pretty hardcore for skeletons. It must be flipping sad. Blimey. These guys take a lot of flipping battering. Still, all three of us together can just about deal with it. Serana, though she's cool, the problem she's got is, yeah, she doesn't really suit my playstyle. I need someone tanky up front to be the tank while I support. But she actually prefers to hang around at the back and not do that much in terms of, like, anything more than just throwing in magic and the odd bit of magic support. But that's kind of my job. So, uh, as much as I like Serana, I'm not sure we're going to keep her as a companion forever. She just doesn't really suit my playstyle, to be honest. Still, that's them cleared out into the Undercroft. And the nice thing about the Undercroft is we are back into darkness. So that works for me. Now, I'm going to guess... There's going to be a whole bunch of monstrosities to murder down here as well. Ah, just flipping skeevers, in fact. Well, that's probably fine. Can you can you handle a rat? Moira. Moira, come on. There you go. Well done. Ooh, apparently we've also got a super awesome skeleton that's now on our side. That's fun. 
Also, we appear to just have some flipping wild death hounds around here. Just keep casting some things forward in that direction. Yeah, wild death hounds. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, a feral vampire. la di da Presumably you're not that tough. And you're weak to fire, which is good. So I think I can just... Yeah, I can just tank you. That's 100% fine. Fine, we've got feral vampires living under the castle. That's cool. Got to take care of all those bastards then. And this feral vampire had a journal fragment. Right. Not good enough to live in the stupid keep. Stupid sods don't realise I've moved into the undercroft. Started taking control of their own death hounds. I'll get my revenge. Ah! That's where the death hounds were. You actually now take this just in case that's part of a, a series of notes I need to hand over to someone. Yeah. This person was just needing a little potential insurrection. She felt a bit hard done by it. And fair enough too, being told she wasn't good enough to be a vampire or whatever. Got a lever here. Lever's always a good thing. Right, open a way forward over there. What else have we got? Ethereum Wars. Hypothetical treachery. And sadly, I have already read that. And that opens up a new path over here, but... Hang on, we've got... Ooh! More Death Hounds first. Hang on, you just... Or just basically don't bother tanking for me. That's fine. I'll take care of a Death Hound by myself. Right. Now, clearly there's going to be another lever to open up another direction. But first, we need to find some stuff. Including a whole bunch of traps around here. Now, watch out for all the traps. I've got some lights going on to help me see. Right, whatever's going on here. A whole bunch of these guys are already dead. Fine, so this is one way to loop around here. But now, water and spikes. Right. Watch out for the flippin' spikes. I'm gonna guess they hurt if you walk into them. Although this is... Ah! This is just below where I was. Fine, so if you fall down, this is where you basically just walk back out. Assuming you don't hit the spikes, which you might well do. So this here was the wrong way. Gotcha. So, back the other way instead. And what do we have down here? Ah! Something bad. Let's just get a new friend over in that direction. Demora Lord. Boom! Let's just hope he materialises. He didn't materialise in bloody time. That's fine. Get my own one hand up. Right. You help out with these guys. I will just do some whacking. There we go. Lovely. Ooh. Oh dear. Right. Room of bones. Good. She wasn't kidding about taking control of the death hounds. But I think she's probably been breeding the bastards. Yes. And now we've just got potentially... If we're lucky around here a way forward... But first... Ah! Hello over there. Excuse me, you don't seem to have... You haven't noticed me yet, apparently. So while you're taking care of that, I guess I'll just... Does somebody show... Where did you come from? He was right there. He was right flipping there. I'll just get the chest while you're taking care of that. Right, lockpicking 79. You've killed him. Very, very nice indeed. And that does indeed also get us the other thing we needed. So that drops down there. And we've got progress. Lovely. We've also got, however, a... Premier... Ah! Okay, so this is upstairs from the bone room. Good little shortcut back over here. But, over on that side of the room, clearly something good to go over to. All right, fine. Well, I think I know what you're wanting me to do. Well, actually, what you want me to do is presumably use bats. But I don't actually need bats because I've got whirlwind sprint. Remember, I'm also the flipping dragonborn, just FYI. There we go. Straight across without bothering with any of that. So, I've got money. And I've got some... Ooh, vigorous healing is not bad. Who are you exactly? Okay. Not sure who you were, but plentiful healing times too. I'll help myself too. And also there's a chest over here. Go on then. Never say no to a chest. Eminent conjuring. I'll take that and sell it. That's pretty darn valuable. Other than that, pretty boring standard stuff, to be honest. I'll take those though. That's a good weight to value ratio right there. Also, you've got to love how Serana's big thing was, oh yeah, I know this castle inside and out. No one knows it better than me. The moment we get into, like, you know, a maze with leaves and stuff, nope. No advice whatsoever. She just leaves you to figure it out. Well done, Serana. Bloody love Please you. Head to the just head the door. Well, she apparently was saying we are almost at the courtyard. Right. Courtyard. Let's go and see if her mother's floating around. Right. Well, this is interesting. A little inner courtyard. Not exactly the safest place to hide. There's bloody windows overlooking it all over the shop. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... Well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Okay. It looks like she's leading me somewhere. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. 
I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Yeah, giant sundial. What? Or maybe not. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. Okay. I need to find some missing crests and shove them in here. Fine. And investigate the actual moon dial itself. Am I allowed to actually do anything to to look at it? Doesn't appear so. But yeah, I need to find some missing crests. There's two... Then that looks like a third there. Four or five, actually. There's quite a few bloody missing crests. Okay. Hmm. What are we going to do to fix you up, then? Well, there's a half-moon crest right here in the water. So I'm guessing there's just a whole bunch of crests just strewn around this here area. So let's just have a little poke around around the back of graves and... Whatever, just make sure everything's as it should be. Okay, let's go find some crests here. Because one of the ones that was missing was uh, half, you don't have the proper crest. There we go. So, I've put one back. Now I just need to go and find some more. And would you believe, of course, full moon crest hiding around the back of her garden. Right, so full moon would be around here. Is this the right spot or is it the... Hang on, somewhere else. Somewhere else. Where's, where's full... Okay, there's already a full moon crest. Hang on. Ah, no. Here. Right, so it's not just one single cycle. There's loads of different cycles. Okay, fine. Just need to go and find some more. And there's one up here as well. Lovely. There's a third just up top. Now, technically, there are load zones into different bits of the castle up here as well. There was East Castle there and North Tower there. So there's two areas I can get into from here. First, just need to figure out where we're putting some stuff. Oh, no, those three were enough for the time being. Well, I've done something. I've opened up a secret area. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. All right. Got ourselves a nice thing to explore down here. As well as, yeah, a couple of towers we can explore nearby through that door and through that door. So I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now. Next time, we are heading down into the secret room under the moon dial to see what is going on there, as well as what's going on in all of these other buildings as well. And don't forget to kill some people, build up my vampire powers, and do other stuff as well. Don't forget to, you know, like, you know, use conjuration, get conjuration up. It would be nice if that was going in the right direction as well. All of that coming soon. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.